Magnolia Travels is the website for a fictional travel agency which sells package tours. But as you browse the website, imagine that the tours could be replaced with the products, information, or departments that are important in your business or organization. The demo project illustrates important Magnolia features such as multi-language, multiple sites with content reuse, and personalization, all in a modern, responsive website. Content for the website is managed both in a traditional pages hierarchy and as a content pool in the Tours content apps. The navigation contains two dropdowns. The Tours dropdown reveals a list of categories of tours, which we call tour types, like beach, cultural, family. The destinations dropdown reveals the second list of what are also categories of tours, destinations like Europe or Asia and the Pacific. We'll come back to these. The homepage itself contains a big carousel with several hand-picked tours. Under the carousel, three items link to some of the same tour types that are also available on the menus. The About page is the parent of a typical website tree of pages. I'll choose the Beach item in the Tours menu. It has an image, a title, and a description followed by a set of featured beach tours, and followed by a list of all of the beach tours. Now let's take a look at the destinations. Europe. These destination pages have the same structure as the tour type pages. Now let's check out a tour. On the tour page, notice the tour type icons below the title and in the tour overview. This tour will be included on the pages for both of these tour types, beach and family. We can click on one to see. So here we are on family tours, and sure enough, here's the spectacular Amulani Island tour. In the same way, the globe icon in the tour overview is a link to the Europe page. Finally, notice that on the bottom of the page, there are cards for the other tours that a visitor might be interested in the featured tours from the beach and family tour types, so it's possible to explore the related tours. There's also a search function which returns pages and tours. So how many pages do you think this website has? What does the website tree look like? I'll log in to Magnolia Admin Central and we can take a look. I'll use superuser and password superuser. Open the Pages app, and I'll open up all the page nodes. The pages under the About node are, as expected, a simple hierarchy. Company, what we believe, careers, and the three careers. But where are the tour types, like Beach, the destinations, like Europe, and the tours, like Amulani Island? The three pages, Tour Type, Destination, and Tour, are content pages which display content stored in other apps. Based on the URL, the content page retrieves the appropriate content item from the app and displays it. Let's open the Tour Categories content app to see all of the tour types and destinations. Let's take a look at one. Here we can edit the tour type, the description, as well as the image and the icon, and the page templates use this content to generate the navigation and the overview pages. Now let's open the Tours content app to see all of the tours. Let's take a look at one. Remember the Featured Tour sections? The Feature This Item checkbox determines if the tour is included in them. With the Tour Types field, I can assign on which Tour Types pages the tour will be included. So it will be included on the cultural page and on the ecotourism page. Likewise, I can assign the destination. In a way, the public website builds itself based on the pages, the tours, and the tour categories that link the tours together. The navigation, the tour type and destination pages, and the tour pages are dynamically generated based on the content that you supply in the content apps. Now that you have an overview of the demo project, give the demo a spin. Try changing a tour, or creating a new one, or edit some pages.